one week after people. 37 and a half million people used to visit Las Vegas every year. Now, the streets are empty. Looming over the scene of desolation is the Stratosphere Tower. Part of a hotel complex, it's the tallest freestanding observation tower in America. At 1,149 feet, it is taller than the Space Needle and the Eiffel Tower. Its most distinctive features were the highest amusement rides in the world, including one that dangled visitors 64 feet over the edge of the tower on a mechanical arm. Now, the screams of thrill-seekers no longer echo across the Las Vegas Valley. But the new pockets of groundwater in Las Vegas wreak havoc on building foundations designed for the dry desert terrain. 300 years after people, the weakened foundation of the stratosphere will have to endure a thrill ride courtesy of Mother Nature. Although neighboring California is notorious for earthquakes, Nevada experiences thousands of its own tremors every year. Faults near Las Vegas have the potential to unleash events as large as the 1994 Northridge quake that jolted Los Angeles. If you look at a place like Las Vegas, it's a seismically active area. It has earthquakes. The buildings in Las Vegas, because it's a relatively dry climate, you might think would last a long time, but actually many of them will be shaken down. We could potentially have a toppling failure of a tower. If we lost the corner of the tower at its base and it tilted over, we could have the leaning tower of Pisa effect. A violent quake lashes the tower back and forth like a whip. Losing support from its base, its fall seems agonizingly slow. The big observation pod hits the ground at 150 miles an hour, the entire tower smashing in a cloud of debris. A blanket of dust hangs over the city's remains. A place once called the Meadows is now a pile of rubble.